Okay, in this video, we're going to start talking about using Gradle with JUnit 5. And I'm going to show you a couple things here. We are going to be using a new repository. So the master branch on this, right, I'm going to provide a, a link in the course resources for you, of course. And that, this is going to have uh, a link to an empty project. Well, not essentially empty. It's going to have basically what we're doing with Maven. But now it, it's got all the Gradle config stuff with it. But it, it's not, it doesn't have any JUnit in it yet because we need to go set all that up. So let's go over to IntelliJ and take a quick look at what we have here. So this is the project. Uh, let me close that out. So we, we can see the, the greeting class, uh, same thing that we had under the Maven project. Now the test, I've gone and commented everything out because we don't have any JUnit dependencies there. And we can see that the build.gradle file is very, very simple. Nothing really going on there. I used uh, IntelliJ to generate this, generate the project, and this is very uh, no frills implementation of a, a Gradle project, which is really all we need for our little intro project. Now let's talk about getting uh, Gradle actually set up. Now the first thing we need to do is add in some dependencies. Test compile. And I actually have to save some typing because I'm not going to remember that all. So this brings in the test dependencies. Now what we also need to do is add in the runner for Gradle or the extension. And it's been Gradle since I think 4.6, if I remember right. Uh, 4.8 is current. And see that AutoSense finally kicked in. So between the two here, so one sets up the dependency, so it brings it into test context like Maven does. And then this is like the Maven equivalent of Surefire to actually execute the test. So let's come back over here to the greeting test. And now let's uncomment that. And let's make sure everything runs. Now let's come over to Gradle and we'll expand out the, the task here and build. Now let's do a clean, that's out of habit, and then build. And you can see it runs pretty quick and notice there's no test output. And that can mess you up a little bit uh, if you're not used to Gradle. When I'm switching back and forth, if I haven't used Gradle for a while, the little nuances like this do make a difference. So I do test show standard streams and say equal to true. So by default, out of test, Gradle is going to hide any of the system out stuff. So we need to do the test logging and say show standard streams, so the standard out. So now let's come back and do another clean. And now let's run this one more time. Now we get the expected output. And there's one other thing that we can do as well. We can do test logging. Let's say events. And it failed. So that's going to tell us more about what's going on. So let's go ahead and do another clean. And build. So now we, we can see that we're getting more chatter about uh, what was passed and the standard out that was caught. So Gradle by default is pretty quiet when it, it runs. So if you're used to a lot more chatter from Maven. Uh, these are two settings that you can utilize. And I, I'm going to leave those in the test because we, we are watching our, our standard out for uh, additional information on what's going on with our test, especially in these early phases. But if you're uh, moving up to a build server or something, it, you probably want to turn those off once you're more confident in, in the build process. But for right now, we're going to be doing more interesting stuff as far as uh, doing standard out to the council.